Is this all vegetables? Who wanted all vegetables? I did. Incredibles 3 is probably on every fan's wish list after Incredibles 2 accomplished the unthinkable by outperforming the original. As such, the possibility of a third installment being in the works at some point seems very high. So, here's everything we know. The Incredibles from Pixar is one of those films where the title pretty much gives it all away. It is still one of the most critically acclaimed superhero films available, an animated story about the everyday struggles and superpowered lives of the Parr family. In 2018, the Parr family returned to the big screen with a sequel that took the animated studio 14 years to produce. Viewers may differ as to whether the nearly 15-year wait was worthwhile, but most will concur that Incredibles 3 is a film they want to see. To help my family, I gotta leave it to fix the law. I gotta break it. You've got to, so our kids can have that choice. It makes sense that The Incredibles, which is based on serialized comic book heroes who now dominate the largest shared universes in cinema, is perhaps Pixar's most perfectly tailored franchise. And they seem ready for more adventures. The box office success of The Incredibles franchise would naturally lead Pixar to want to do more, and Incredibles 2 definitely leaves the door open for more installments. That may be the case even more given that the studio has witnessed the box office flops of a new film based on both original concepts and established franchises. Num num cooking! Oh, no. Cooking! <laughs> Wow! Yay! That is freaky. Incredibles 3 would have to live up to a high standard because Pixar is renowned for its infamously drawn out animation production processes and for abandoning projects that fall short of their high standards. If the new Pixar film is ever released at all, there may be a longer wait involved. Nothing is set in stone, but Incredibles 3 might still happen in the future. As producers John Walker and director Brad Bird of The Incredibles Incredibles and Incredibles 2 set in 2018. He's in excellent health. What the? Regretfully, it appeared the film's schedule will probably be comparable to the protracted interval between The Incredibles and The Incredibles 2. The production of Incredibles 2 is delayed because the writers wanted to ensure that the story was perfected. Bird stated in an interview that in order to avoid the process seeming rushed, this will also apply to the prospective Incredibles 3. He did, however, disclose that there are a few storylines he'd be eager to investigate in the future, either in Incredibles 3 or in another movie given that Incredibles 2 had to overcome some major production obstacles. Fans may have had to wait years and years, even in the best case scenario, before these darlings appear in a third Incredibles movie. However, there is still hope as long as Bird doesn't completely reject the concept of Incredibles 3. In any case, Pixar has not made an official statement regarding the state of Incredibles 3. It is noteworthy that the franchise has not yet received any kind of Disney Plus experience expansion, as the streaming service has so far served up as a home for Up, Monsters, Inc., and Toy Story spin-offs and continuations. Though the entire Incredibles franchise has been on hold since Incredibles 2, there are still plenty of options worth considering, such as a Disney Plus Frozone show. That might ultimately be encouraging for Incredibles 3 prospects, because it means Pixar may be developing the sequel behind closed doors rather than spin-offs. Naturally, until Pixar truly produces Incredibles 3, all of this speculation is pointless. Additionally, there is actually cause for concern, given that the second one is real and produced one of Pixar's highest grossing films ever. Ever. The Disney-owned animation studio is starting to increase the number of sequels in development once more, despite the fact that Pixar had previously indicated that the sequel shortages were ending. Incredibles 3 may be released on a schedule akin to that of its predecessor. Brad Bird began writing the script shortly after and assumed directing duties for Incredibles 2 sometime in 2015, as the film wasn't formally confirmed until March 2014. It's important to note that the project was initially intended to take longer. Those four years is about average for an animation. This indicates that a full five years of production were planned. Disney's release schedule for untitled Pixar animated films currently includes three dates for release. June 13th, 2025, March 6th, 2026, and June 19th, 2026. It's not the way you're supposed to do it, Dad. They want us to do it. I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? 
Yes. Based on the Incredibles 2 timeline, Incredibles 3 had to be announced in 2020 or 2021 if it was going to be released on any of those dates. However, 2024 is already here and there is still no news. But given that Inside Out 2 was only revealed two years before it was released, it's possible that Incredibles 3 will be officially announced soon if June 2026 is the intended release date, which would be nearly eight years after Incredibles 2. That is only feasible, though, if Incredibles 3 receives a green light shortly. The new Incredibles might have a gap similar to that between Cars 2 and Cars 3 or Toy Story 3 and Toy Story 4. If it happens, and as of right now, it's still a big if, Incredibles 3 won't rush into theaters until the late 2020s if current trends continue. While there was a significant hint for a sequel in The Incredibles, Incredibles 2 closes on a far more determined note, albeit one that undoubtedly leaves room for more adventures down the road. The first sequel reverses the storyline of illegal superheroes who are forced to go into hiding, with the main focus being on an effort to give the supers their rightful place in society. Whoa! I like mom's new job! Bye, sweetie. This is the main argument in Incredibles 2, and by the time it's over, everyone in the world has realized how beneficial costumized vigilantes are to society and has legalized them. That might take away the Incredibles' essential recurring background that lets in on the family, but it does create a new open situation for any prospective sequels. In the end, the Parr family has reunited and is openly battling evils like the Incredibles. Although it's not a blatant setup, this gives the franchise a fresh start and permits a different Incredibles 3 with less constrained characters. The idea that the Underminer is still alive and at large, which was hinted at in the Incredibles 2 after credits, could be expanded upon in the sequel. The antagonist did not play a significant part in the film after his hint at the conclusion of the first film led to a fight at the beginning of the second. The Underminer tease from Incredibles 2 might be a hint at the direction that the plot of Incredibles 3 might take. A time jump is what Incredibles 3 most desperately needs. While it's easier to get Incredibles 2 going when you can drive straight into the action, it also restricts what the story can do. Because Dash and Violet are written as teenagers, it's easier to follow along, but that means their arcs have less room to develop. Moving the characters ahead, even if it's only a few years, would help establish natural development from which a new story could start. For example, having one of the kids leave home and fend for themselves seems like the logical step in the development of a family-focused series. It's time to make some wrong things right. Help me bring supers back into the sunlight. However, the superheroes are what really set The Incredibles apart. Brad Bird deliberately chose to base the sequel in the universe he established in 2004, abandoning much of the developments in the film industry since the first film. One of the main characteristics of the first Incredibles movie, that it was essentially a genre deconstruction of a la Watchmen, is lost in the process, even though it prevents Incredibles 2 from feeling like it's riding trends. It will be more than 20 years after The Incredibles when Incredibles 3 comes out, it'll be impossible to ignore the differences in tone in parallel universes, or it could focus on a totally different thing. Violet Parr has the most complex and nuanced normal life that gets in the way of the heroic life of any character in the Parr family who hasn't yet been a protagonist. Above all, she is passionate about fighting crime with her family. mom's new job. Violet is an introverted, socially awkward teen, but she's also rebellious. The third Incredibles movie may capitalize on this cliche to move the next superpower conflict closer to home. Violet is quiet, reserved, but she has a lot of strength. If not hilarious, Bob and Helen's method of disciplining Violet would be visually striking. While most people learn to drive in their teens, Violet might be honing her levitation and invisibility skills to move covertly. Her desire for love independence and a normal life may outweigh her desire to fight crime. Supers could become celebrities again after the Super Relocation Act was repealed, with photographers and reporters vying for the best shot. It's extremely stressful to watch how Violet, a teenage superhero, manages the pressure to live up to her parents' heroics, the media, and the high school drama. Add a formidable adversary and deteriorating family dynamic, and Pixar has the makings of a fantastic 
detail, emphasizing the value of community support during hard times. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.